Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the February 2020 general reading for the sign of Pisces. This is for Pisces sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Or if you have a lot of Pisces in your chart or a lot of water in your chart, this may resonate. And we have a lot of transitions happening in the month of February from the standpoint of energies. Now we have the usual suspects of the the full and new moon cycle we always experience. But throw in the mix for February, we've got Mercury retrograde, we've got Venus, the planet of love, moving out of your sign and into the passionate, fiery sign of Aries. And we have Mars, which represents to me the masculine, a planet relating to love, moving out of Sagittarius and into the sign of Capricorn. So definitely a lot of transitions happening in the major personal planet. So we will all be affected. And I've done videos on every single one of those events. So I definitely recommend going to check those out. Those will make these individual videos resonate more when you understand even more of what everybody is experiencing and going through in the collective. And um, I will link them at the end of this video here so that they're easy for you to find. And obviously, guys, this is general, won't resonate for everybody. Uh, do go check out the other placements that make up your natal chart. They can often resonate more. And cross watchers, this may resonate more for you than for your Pisces. So if it doesn't fit, guys, don't make it fit. Okay, just go check out the other videos because you might get messages more importantly there than here. So with that, let's get started. So we're going to pull a major arcana theme for Pisces for February 2020. And we're getting the hanged man. Okay, so this is about seeing things from a new perspective. You may feel like some things are stalled out in your life for some reason, but you're getting enlightened about something. So let's pull a minor arcana and see what this is referring to. And we're getting the Ten of Flames. So here's a situation where you may have been burdened about something, uh, maybe you've been bearing the responsibility. This could be an energy of overwhelm. Um, at times, so we're going to get more to the story here, but this, these will make sense when I pull more cards, even more so, but there could be just something where you're either taking responsibility, somebody's taking responsibility towards you, but it's like somebody might be seeing the truth and taking their share of the load um, that maybe they weren't seeing before or weren't doing before. Maybe they weren't sharing the responsibility for something. So let's actually get another oracle card here. And we're seeing a personal issue reaches resolution. So this is the conclusion after a cycle of, of things being, seeing the truth about a situation that's very dear and near to your heart. So let's actually take a look at how these might be playing out throughout the month. The full moon and cancer energy, more water. So let's take a look at early, early in the month. So we're getting the tower. So this is a breakthrough or something that like finally completes a difficult cycle. I'm going to put this back in and see um, if it comes back out again. But let's pull here for the first part of February. So we have the three of pentacles, we have the emperor, and we have the wheel of fortune. Middle of the month, we have the nine of swords, the five of cups, the two of swords. Wow. Okay. And then at the end, we have the strength card, we have the lovers, and we have the devil. All right. And no, guys, I don't read reversals. Just saying. Um... In case you're wondering and you're new to my channel you haven't heard me say that a thousand times <laughs> um so what we have here wow okay wow 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 all right what i'm feeling here is there's somebody in the situation that maybe there's been something that you've been uh, working together with. Somebody's ready to take the lead and it's a, right on the brink of this wheel of fortune coming in. Something uh, that's faded, a turn of events. It's a completion of a cycle where somebody maybe um, was just on the brink of taking the lead on something and was just about to. And, and in the middle of the month, we're getting the nine of swords, the five of sword, five of cups and the two of swords. So it's almost like, to me, I'm feeling like you're on the brink of completing a cycle that relates to the past, something that you've been stressed about, something that's been worrying you, something that's you, you can't do anything about. And, um, 
it's like one second I'm actually gonna check something yeah this is the um, I was like wait a second just had to check something about this deck but I got it so what's happening here is there could be some decisions or something that's been, it's just something that's been stuck for a while is suddenly going to have some movement. Um, and somebody's being courageous when it comes to likely love or making a decision about love. Uh, but then there could be some fears coming in. We're getting the lovers followed, followed by the devil with the strength card in the same row for the final, uh, towards the end of the month. So um, let's get some more cards and flush this out a little bit more. So it's almost like there's somebody ready to come forward, possibly to you, or you're ready to take the lead in your life somewhere to go towards something. And it's something that's very fortunate and destined, but you're freaking out about it. You might have some sadness from the past. You may have been feeling like something came out of the blue that knocked something over. You know, this cat is knocking over this cup here. So it's kind of like something that you're not responsible for just caused some sort of pain for you. But then there's this decision. So let's actually get an oracle card for each section. So first part of the month, let's get an oracle card for the first part of February for Pisces. The energy is gaining momentum. See, someone's getting ready to come towards you. There's something difficult that's been completing here. Indecision, stress, sadness, guilt, remorse. And then the end of a tough cycle approaches. See, so you've been on this journey for a while. Um, it's like you've really been through the ringer here. You've been battling your demons. You've been battling your sleepless nights. You've had your, your fair share of difficult moments. And what's coming in is we have a time to give rather than take the new moon in Virgo. So it could be that you or somebody that you are dealing with could be ready to, um, take their share of responsibility for where they things were out of balance before somebody's become enlightened they're ready to put effort in it's been a difficult cycle it's been difficult for you it's likely been difficult for them and they're being courageous here and they're picking you up because you've been waiting there for a while look at the lover she's been lying down and here he's like okay stand up we have to get ready to do the regular lovers card where they're both standing up she's like oh my gosh i fell asleep waiting for you dude <laughs> so um this does feel like somebody is ready to um to start something new where they're ready to be balanced in what they're giving to you ready to give to a situation. Tell me um, about this Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, you've been, you or someone in the situation has been very much kind and understanding throughout whatever process has been going on. Tell me about the Three of the Pentacles. Someone's ready to do things differently. Someone's ready to communicate and uh, maybe reach out, make take, send you a text. Um, there's someone here that's ready to embark on a new phase of the journey of working together. Maybe it's like you've been on your own. Because, again, I just feel like there's been an imbalance in some person putting in all the effort. This can be in a work situation. This can be in a romantic situation. This can be in a friendship. It's, it's, it was out of balance. Someone was not, it was not reciprocal. But that looks like it's changing. That's absolutely changing here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? And the Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Fool. Yeah, there's, um, someone's been really hoping for this difficult cycle to end. And there's been a lot of, there's a lot of change and conflict and sadness here. 
but someone's ready to take a risk and get out of either not being able to speak the truth, not making a decision. Someone's ready to either get out of indecision or, or make, make a decision and start going forward. Tell me about the strength card. It was the hermit. Interesting. That was at the bottom of the deck. It just came out again. So someone here is learning how strong they really are. And the moon. Look at all these major arcanas for you, Pisces. Granted, it is going to be your birthday month, so happy birthday to all of you Pisces having birthdays within the month of February. But wow. So, and the devil is getting the king of wands. Yeah, so someone is breaking unhealthy patterns here. They've learned a lot about themselves. There's, um, you know... You could have had an intuition about this particular situation. And it's almost like you didn't know how I just get so much of just weariness, worn out. Like you've just gone through the battle, but here it is coming forward with somebody ready to give to you. And again, it could be you, Pisces. Someone who's ready to stop just watching and to actually come forward. They're uncertain if you will accept this because it's a time to give rather than take and we're getting the uncertainty, the staying at a distance. They're not quite here at the Two of Cups yet. They're like, are you going to take this cup? Are we going to do this? I'm not really sure. Are we making this mutual decision to work on this relationship somehow? Why is the moon here? The star. Gosh, look at all those major arcanas. Especially towards the end of the month. We start off with the Emperor and the Wheel of Fortune. But then we're getting the Fool, the Hermit, the Strength, the Moon, the Star, the Lovers, the Devil. I mean, so many majors here. So the towards the end of the month, you're going to have some big spiritual lessons here that are going to be very powerful. And this is where you're going to realize how strong you really are, Pisces. So I'm going to pull a guidance card for you. And it could certainly be relating to love and relationships coming together. You know, I know I've not been giving to this, but I really want to give to this now. But I'm not sure that it's, if it's too late. Did I wait too long? Did I stay at a distance too long? Was I in indecision too long? I don't really know. So let's pull a guidance card for you, Pisces. What's the best guidance for Pisces for February 2020? Oh, we're getting prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. All right. So certainly this could relate to pentacles and work and career. Maybe you've given so much to some sort of a job or a career or you've given all to your company and it's just like, it's just not been equal. You've been putting in the extra hours. It hasn't really worked haven't been paid off and now you're ready to just take a risk and head on out to go towards something that's that's mutually beneficial let me get another guidance card for you pisces taking action now is the perfect time to act taking inspired action towards your dreams and moving forward with confidence you now know what to do pisces so with that i send you so much love until next time bye